Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts related to science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 Advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expression. In this video, we are going to solve this question called evaluate boolean expression and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 10th video of this series called evaluate boolean expression and if I look at the companies this question has been asked day so 0.72 let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called variables with two different columns name and value in sql name is the primary key for this table this table contains the stored variables and their values there is another table called expressions with three different columns left operand operator and right operand in sql left operand operator and right operand is the primary key for this table this table contains a boolean expression that should be evaluated Operator is an enum that can take one of the values less than, greater than or equal to. The values of left operand and right operand are guaranteed to be in the variables table. Okay. Evaluate the boolean expressions in the expressions table. Order of the result does not matter. So here we have x and y and their values and we, in the expressions table we need to check whether x is greater than y less than equal to similarly y is greater than x y is less than x and x is equal to x and things like that the value of x is 6 to 6 and y is 77 is x greater than y no so here it should return false is x less than y yes so it should return true and so on and that is what we have in our output Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is since in the expressions table, we have the operands. Firstly, we need to perform a join. But here, just by doing one join won't suffice. So the first thing that we need to do is from this table called expressions, let's alias this as E. Let me left join the variables table aliased as V1. And there is a reason why we are, you know, aliasing this as V1 on e dot left operand is equal to v1 dot name and in the output what we can do is return star so let's keep everything from the expressions and then have the because we only need the value of of these ones right so we can write v1 dot value and let's alias this as left operand value right left operand value let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at it so in our output we have the values of x's and y's populated right now similarly we can do for right operand and you might think that okay you can do this simultaneously so some of you might be thinking that instead of you know doing this what if if we simply go ahead and write and e dot right operand is equal to v1 dot name so this is going to be a problem. Why? Because here if you use and so that is going to give you that it will check both of these conditions before performing a join. So if I run this, let's see what do we get. So you see here you are getting nulls. So that is why you cannot do this. So what we need to do is we can perform the same thing again as well, but this time for right operand. So left join variables this times alias this as v2 on e dot right operand is equal to v2 dot name and we can have v2 dot value as right operand value okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so now if we look at it so now we have the left operands and right operands now we can simply go ahead and compare these based on the operator so what we need is so let me go ahead and do this so case when so case when operator belongs to greater than right so operator is equal to greater than then what you do is then you simply compare left operand value is greater than right operand value so you can do left operand value is basically what v1 dot value so let me just copy this so then this is greater than v2 dot value so this is what we need to check right then similarly when operand is or when operator is equal to less than then what you need to do is you can simply go ahead and copy this and just change the sign so here v1 dot value should be less than this is what you need to check and when 
operator is equal to right so let me just copy this entire thing so it would be easier for us when operator is equal to equal to then you check for the equality right and then even if you do not write else it will take null but you can just simply write else null since you started a case when statement you need to end and let's alias this as whatever is required in our output right so this is not yet complete but let's see okay so this column is going to be called value so end as value okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so let me drag it to the left and drag it above so here we can see that okay here we have zeros and ones instead of false and true so what we can do is we can use the if statement to basically substitute these zeros and ones with false and true so what we can do is so let me do this for one of the cases first and it will you know tell you that okay what we are trying to do so if you know so here uh, for this particular right so x greater than 66 greater than 77 so obviously this is not true so it is returning a value zero so if this condition you know after evaluating this condition you are getting a value called right so if after evaluating this condition you are getting that okay hey this is coming out to be zero then you replace it by false else it you replace it by true okay let me go ahead and run this now I, I need to do this for all this but like you know just want to show you that you see those zeros and ones are for these particular greater than operators are replaced by false and trues similarly you can do the same thing for this one as well okay so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so here we have all those values and obviously these are the two columns that we do not require in our output right we do not need this in our output so what we can do is we can simply go ahead and remove these two so remove these two columns and if i go ahead and let me just drag it down so this is the entire solution how it looks like right and let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so let me you know drag it above so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes somewhat tricky question because here you need to evaluate boolean expression so what we did was firstly we use the expressions table to get the values associated with the variable names right and then we had to do this twice because we can only do that one at a time and then once we had those values left operand value and right operand value then what we are doing is we basically compare and then since after comparing we are ending up with zeros and ones but in our output we need trues and false so what we did was we use the if function to check that if this is satisfying a particular condition replace it with something else if not replace it with something else right so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video